Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video is to help you understand how Griffith's experiments were performed. Frederick Griffith was a British microbiologist. In 1928, he conducted a series of experiments with Streptococcus pneumoniae, which is the bacteria responsible for pneumonia. While studying the pathology of bacterial pneumonia, he came across a very surprising observation that eventually led to the discovery of DNA as the genetic material. So let's find out what these experiments were. To study the disease, Griffith had biological samples collected from patients having pneumonia. In this sample, he had isolated two strains of Streptococcus pneumoniae. One strain had a polysaccharide coat outside the cell wall and this made the bacterial colonies large and smooth in appearance. Hence, this strain was called the smooth strain or the S strain. The other strain was not capable of synthesizing this polysaccharide coat. So they formed small colonies with rough surface. So this strain was called the rough strain or the R strain. Not having the polysaccharide coat is a big disadvantage for the bacterium. In the S strain, the polysaccharide coat protects the bacterium from the host immune system. So when Griffith injected a mouse with the S strain, the mouse developed pneumonia and eventually died. Since the R strain is not protected by the polysaccharide coat, it is easily captured and destroyed by the host immune cells. So when the mouse is injected with the R strain, it does not develop pneumonia and remains healthy. The virulence of S strain, that is its ability to invade and cause disease in the host can be destroyed by heating it to high temperature. This kills the bacteria and it is now non-virulent. So when heat killed S strain was injected into a mouse, the mouse was healthy and did not develop pneumonia. Hence the heat killed bacteria was not able to revive inside the host body. This was confirmed by Griffith when he tried to isolate bacteria from the mouse tissue and found that no colonies had formed. He was conducting these experiments to see if the heat killed S strain could be used to create a vaccine against pneumonia. But what he did not expect was when the heat killed S strain was injected along with the R strain, the mouse developed pneumonia and died. This was puzzling because the R strain is not capable of causing disease. So how did the mouse develop pneumonia? To find this, he isolated bacteria from this mouse and shockingly found that the mouse carried both the R strain and the live virulent S strain. Based on these observations, Griffith came up with a hypothesis that some chemical component from the heat killed S strain was able to transform the R strain into the live virulent S strain. Unfortunately, he was not able to identify what this chemical component was and so it was called the transforming principle. It wasn't until 1944 that a group of scientists were able to show that this transforming principle is actually DNA. They understood that during the heating process, the S strain was destroyed and DNA being thermostable had survived and was released into the surrounding media. Later, when the two strains were mixed for injection into the mouse, the DNA from the S strain was taken up by the R strain through the pores in its cell membrane. Now, the R strain has the genes needed to synthesize the polysaccharide code and thus becomes virulent. This phenomenon of taking up foreign DNA from the environment is now well studied and still referred to as transformation. For a long time, people were unaware of DNA's function and assumed that protein is the genetic material. Griffith's experiment helped other scientists to realize that DNA is the genetic material. I'll be explaining how this was discovered in the next video, so stay tuned. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this.